welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Uh, we're so grateful to be coming into your home. We have a great program for you today, show, and uh, it's called Step Up to the Plate. And we're going to be talking about some really great things about the kingdom needing you. It needs you. The kingdom needs you. Mm -hmm. You need to get ready. You need to be ready. And you need to do your part. A uh, ball player, when he hits that ball, his dream, his very dream is to hit that ball out of the park. Not just to hit it a, a, a little foot. Because it makes, you know, this really doesn't make that big of a difference. But hitting it out of that park gives him a whole run. And, you know, he's fulfilling his dream. But he's still doing his part. So for the team. We are uh, a team. God's bride is a team. We are his bride. And there's a work to do on this earth. And so we're going to encourage you today to step up to the plate and do your part. And while we're going through the program, please remember to call our prayer lines. We want to see your breakthrough. We love you and Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. He don't want to see you hurting and miserable and have nobody to go through anything with. And he set his kingdom up with agreement. So call us and we'll agree with you to see your breakthrough and your miracle. People are getting miracles and we're such a... Uh, uh, so excited and privileged and honored to be a part of that. So it's 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729, and you can take that phone number with you, jot it down somewhere, and call those prayer lines anytime, not just when you are seeing the show aired in your area. Now, for those of you uh, new viewers, I am Charlene back to Marion, and uh, we have with us Lana Gardner, and we have Jennifer Griffin. We three are your God's view host. And so we have Lana Gardner. Now that we have a full shot here, and uh, well, we have Jennifer Griffin, Lana <laughs> Gardner, and Charlene back to Marion. I'm telling you, we are just like, Ugh. but anyways, we love you and we thank you for joining us. And again, we have a great show for you today. Before we get started, I want to offer uh, a couple offers here. I painted this painting and I called it Wounded for our transgressions. He's licking his paw right there and the scripture on the bottom is Isaiah uh, 53 5 and that you were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon you and with your stripes we are healed. And so this that I am holding up is 11 by 14 and Jennifer is holding up the 16 by 20 but right here you can get the smaller one or the larger one. Here's the smaller one. And for any $65 donation, we will put this in the mail to you. And for any $125 donation, we will put this one, the 16 by 20, in the mail to you. We also have available on Canvas, on Canvas, we have available um, 16 by 20s, but those are actually a hundred and sixty dollars. So here's eleven by fourteen, and then um, this one's sixteen by twenty. And you can get, like I say, uh, I'll have to post these on the website. We have not put them on the website, so those of you who go there to order them, I'm sorry that they're not on there right now. But you can call the uh, prayer lines, and we'll get that out to you. I will get them on ASP as soon as possible tonight <laughs> really so um, and then also please go to our website across the bottom of the screen www.godsviewtvshows.com or gstn.us uh, and push the donut button we, we need your support today please become a partner with us we will send you a DVD or CD uh, D of the month uh, of our shows that you can listen to over and over and be blessed um, there's books on there. There's all kinds of stuff. We have DVDs of the month, um, and we would love to send that to you. And you can also order our books and tapes and all that stuff. Well, they're not tapes now. They're CDs at our website. So make sure you go to there. Just stay tuned. At the end of every program, we advertise that. And then periodically through the program, we advertise that. But again, we need your help to keep airing the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Uh, God's view is uh, making an impact in this earth, in this world. God is really using this program. And again, I'm, I, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to be a part of it. And uh, won't you be a part by sending a donation today and continue to partner. 
that we will take a one-time love offering, but we're looking for someone to partner with yeah. us, aren't we girls, to, yeah. to hook up with us and pray for us and us for you. And, and not that we don't pray for you daily. Those prayer requests we pray for daily mm -hmm. at the station, mm -hmm. but and we want you to become a partner with us. So won't you do that today and go to our website, check out all of our stuff, and then push that donate button. We can really use your help today. Now again, today, what is it? Step up to the plate. And yep. those of you who are just tuning in, I uh, said when we opened up, the kingdom needs you. Yes. The kingdom needs you. It's not just uh, Alana, Charlene, and Jennifer right. can't do all the work. Your pastor can't do all the work. Uh, the evangelist can't do all the work. The kingdom needs you. This is an all saints move. You are, right. If you are the bride of Christ, then you are anointed and called and appointed to go forth, whether it's to bring a pie to your neighbor. You may not speak from a pulpit, but you're called and you have a part whether it's to encourage somebody in their church. To, they may be the yeah. pillar, the, the, somebody that comes into a church every week that sees their smile makes them feel, yeah. you know, anchored. Mm -hmm. And so there's so many uh, things. We're talking about get ready. Yeah. Get ready and be ready so that when God comes knocking on your door and says, I want you to do this, that you are prepared so that you can say, yes, God, obey him, and get into this move in your position so that other people can be in their position because none of us are called alone that's or right. have a little call that surrounds our mm -hmm. little circle. God's a global God, God's a world God. You know, he's a city God. He's he's everybody. You know, his 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 heart is for everybody. So you have to be ready. You have to stay ready so that when he says, "Can will you do this?" that you'll obey. And you just yeah. do it afraid. You, we yeah. were talking about that That's in an right. earlier program. You just do it afraid. You think when God said, do TV one day, I was like, well, of course I was thrilled in here somewhere way far back because he puts that desire yes. in you. Yes. So, of course, you want to do it, but that don't make it easy. No. That don't make it say, oh, yeah, let's go do that, and that you're not going to beat yourself up and watch it and say, oh, that was so silly. Why did I say that? Or, oh, look at that yeah. smile. Or, or I, I should have used that word. I should have <laughs> used another word. Or, you know, it, and so it's always going to be something like that. We talked about a baseball player. His dream is to hit that ball out of the park, and that's every time he steps up to the plate. That's not just all of a sudden he has that dream one day, I'm going to be a professional ball player, and whether it's football, baseball, or whatever, we're just happen to pick baseball and get up to that bat to hit it. It's not like, okay, I did that once, and I'm never going to do that. No, for his team, right. for his it. team, mm -hmm. he wants to do that. Mm -hmm. Every single time he wants to hit it out of the park because he knows that's going to benefit that's the right. whole team mm -hmm. that's good you know i really believe that god's calling team players now like Ooh, you said amen. and it's not like you said it's not this one big person it's no. team players mm -hmm. and so um when you talk about that you you know if you're not there part of that team there we're missing mm -hmm. a part of the team yeah. when you haven't stepped mm -hmm. into position and so that's what we're talking yeah. about stepping up to the plate you need to step into position mm -hmm. and there's yeah. things that need to happen maybe there's some healing that needs to happen yeah. in your life or whatever it is that's but good. we need to take the position because um the kingdom is missing when you're not there and it really oh, is. that's so good mm -hmm. the kingdom you know when she just said that it just hit me it is missing when you're when you're not doing your part and and one thing you touched on Jennifer was the hurt and the pain yeah. and this is what happens people get hurt mm -hmm. they get you know re, uh, reject you know churches don't always do everything right I had someone call this week that literally literally was so broken because somebody escorted her and her child out of the church from get out and never come back because the child was making noises now now to me that is unacceptable yeah. You know, and the way it was done was unacceptable. You know, you can do something or talk to them and say, we love you, but we don't want other people to be disturbed. If the child was disturbing, I don't know. I don't know, the, you know, I, I just know that, um, that. Well, a lot of times people will blame God then. They'll be like, yes, exactly. well, God treated me this way, so they back down. And you know what, it's not, it's people. We all make mistakes. We all do yes. things, but it's, you know, don't turn away from God because you have a situation like that mm -hmm. because that can back you down to where you're not coming to church or you don't, I'm yeah. not going to have anything to do, but don't do that. Don't, mm -hmm. don't allow the enemy yeah, to come don't. in and do that to you. Yeah, because we need you. You know, we I'm thinking you. about Jeremiah and when God called Jeremiah and he told him, before I formed you yes. in your womb, I knew you. That's good. That's right. And I have called you as a prophet to the nations. 
And this is similar to what God is saying to each and every one of us, that we all have a calling on our lives. And the thing is, we have to just seek him and he'll direct us. And you have to, you know, many times, I know when, when God called me into t television, I was not equipped at all. Oh, gosh, no, no, yeah. I mean, at all. I none couldn't even are. construct yeah. a sentence together. Mm -hmm. It was me amazing. Too. And I had to absolutely I step out in faith. That. If God is calling me, I've got to obey. Yes. yes. And, but what's, what's sad was that Jeremiah refuse God. It was quite yeah. a while until Jeremiah finally came through and he missed out on so much treasure in his life. And yeah. Moses, Moses, God was continuously striving with Moses, yeah. remember? And, and Moses kept saying, I can't talk in front of anyone. I can't uh, be a deliverer for anybody. I st th 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 stutter. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> but, you know, God, uh, and, and it was going yeah. back and forth, back and forth mm -hmm. with God, but, but God. But God. And he brought but him God through. And can you life. imagine what Moses' life would be yes. if he had refused God? Because God would have used somebody yes. else. Yeah. That's yes. what, and right now there are people out here in mm -hmm. the audience who God is calling yeah. and he's telling you, you have mm -hmm. a desire in your heart to do something. Mm -hmm. Don't let go. Trust Don't, God. Yes, He'll yes. bring you through. Oh, I so agree, Lon, Absolutely. because the thing is, is there's so many of you, so many of you today that just just really need that dream revived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You really, because, because uh, you know, when, when Jennifer hit on the hurt and and what you were just saying, um, you know, you, you've got to you've got to come back and not serve God on what anybody did or what they said or how they did it. You've got to serve Him because He's your Lord and Savior, and He died for you. Mm -hmm. And 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 just really keep releasing them so that you can step into your call. And like Lana was saying, that you know Moses said, uh, the, 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 "I can't do this." Well, all of us have been there. Yeah. When I was first born again, I couldn't even pray. I would oh, yeah. just because you know I would look at everybody else and say, "Wow, they pray so beautiful and all this," and they know the word. Well, of course they knew the word. I'd never picked up a Bible mm -hmm. in my That's life. That's right. And, and, but somehow the devil uses that on you so you feel like the right. ignorant one and the one that's lacking but no you don't know and but at the as you step out like Lana said like Jennifer said if you'll just step out mm -hmm. afraid step out and hurt those calls will be fulfilled but they will not be fulfilled if you don't do anything it's like yes. when God called me and said okay you're gonna go around the world you're gonna have a network blah 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 blah, blah all this kind of stuff I'm like well, okay, what if I would have just sat in my house, girls? Mm -hmm. What if I would have just never done anything to pursue that? Now, you can't make it happen. God unfolds it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying, you know, just go out there and make it happen. But you have to take steps, right? I mean, you, you have can't. to take a mm -hmm. step. Mm -hmm. You know, it's if like God, getting yeah. into cold water, you know, one little toe at a time. Yes. <laughs> well, like, like, just jump in. Like <laughs> you mentioned, the first time for TV. Do you think that's easy? The first time God called to say, okay, how, you know, you get on and you, you know. Yeah host and do stuff mm -hmm. and and you know we still make a lot of mistakes but see we're real we do not do teleprompters here we don't you know we don't we are just go by the seat of our pants and mm -hmm. what that means is the holy ghost yes. yeah. we just let him go and i'm not saying teleprompters are bad i don't want to cut down anybody's right. shows or program i'm not saying that probably if if the ministry you know funding had come in for that we'd have one just to scroll some stuff that we need to know it makes it easier but, you know, we just, we haven't had one. So I'm definitely not against them. It's just that uh, we just really, you know, you can make a lot more mistakes when you're not just reading everything, mm. you know. So, but God, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. We, we're always going to make them. Yeah. But we go forth. We go forth. We can't be perfect. We cannot be perfect. We just do what he want, calls us to do. You well, know? Look, when, it, when God called Abraham, mm -hmm. remember when, when he you was got, just on my mind. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Well, Abraham was so special because mm -hmm. he, he obeyed God right away. Mm -hmm. And here, here's Abraham. He's uh, set. You know, he's a wealthy man. He has uh, everything going for him. He settled in the town he was in. And God said, I want you to leave, and I'll take you to a place. He didn't even know yeah, where no. he was going. 
and he, he obeyed God immediately. Mm -hmm. that, that, and that's what God wants from all of us. That's what I'm key. so good at. It's it, the but, very key. Yes. To uh, unlocking everything. Obedience, yeah. if, if you're, you know, obedience is better than sacrifice yeah. anything. You may think you're sacrificing praise and you're sitting there and just being with the Lord, but, but obedience is the key. And when he says, please do mm -hmm. something, Please do something for him, yeah. you know, because it's going to it's going to save a lot of people. It's going to do something for someone else, and and most of all, it's going to put you into your next level. It's going to mm -hmm. launch you into the next season, into the next place you need to be. Mm -hmm. And it's just like I remember when um, I kept wanting Jennifer on the show, and she said, "Well, I'll just come and maybe do some cameras or something." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, no, we want you to come on the show." And at first, if we look back at some of the shows, remember, Jennifer, how quiet you were? And now you'll just jump right in there. Yeah. But because it, I'm using this as an example, and I was the same way, trust me, if you can't believe it or not, uh, because I, I can really we don't talk. don't believe it. I know. I, I can we really believe. talk. We believe. <laughs> and so, you know what? Look at, though, here yeah. we all are. Yeah. And you will be, too, but you got to take that step. You know what? We can't let the fear of man yeah. stop us. And, because and that's what it is. It really is the fear of man. It's fear and, man. Good. and what we're going to come across. And, and mm -hmm. who's going to like us? Who's not? Who, or if yeah. we don't say it just right, or if this word didn't come out right. You know, mm -hmm. we have to be careful to be obedient, even in that. And that's yes. where you said about fear. Yeah. And fear will p paralyze us from moving yes. forward. And yes. so, you, like you said, that's we have to do things does. afraid. We have that's to what a snake does to mm, its prey. It paralyzes, it yeah. Paralyzes it paralyzes it till it, it eats it. Mm. So we didn't just step forward no matter whether we're Tastes like afraid chicken. or what. Yes, <laughs> you, know? you know what, Jennifer, you hit on a couple things there. A lot of you don't want to step forward because of, uh, you know, not only fear, but we, we all were talking about this just a couple seconds ago. Because you've been hurt. Yeah. You've been rejected. Man, she said, don't. Yeah go forth that's what triggered this in my heart by the holy spirit mm -hmm. don't you know don't stay back out of fear of man and many of us listen mm -hmm. i've been wounded in the body of christ by leadership all of us at some point have been hurt or wounded i mean mm -hmm. and if you haven't then you're a miracle person and <laughs> i'd like to find you you know because in those in those lessons in those seasons in life it's how we act or react to them mm -hmm. you know that's right. when, when that's they hurt right. us mm -hmm. and so but out of that hurt i know sometimes we just say we don't even want to do this anymore i don't want to go to that church or that person hurt me or this and and you just stop the call of god but that's mm -hmm. what you don't want to do just just you know ask god to really this season to really heal your heart so that you can step into the fullness and the fulfillment and the season that he has for your life so that you can step up to the plate be kingdom minded, mm -hmm. be a team player yeah. like we've all been talking. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't heard the show, go go and listen to the whole show, get the DVD. Uh, you can order it online because you know it, it really, in order for God to fulfill his purpose and the predestined plans that he's placed in your life, it's gonna take obedience, getting through the hurts and the pain and right. all, all of those things and stepping up to the plate uh, in fear. You do it trembling. You know, and we, and we tend to magnify those things in our life or the enemy magnifies those yes. pains and those hurts and God has called mm -hmm. us to magnify him if we turn yes. to him instead mm -hmm. of magnifying those situations we'll, we'll have a right perspective and and sometimes it takes a, it's a process yes, right it because is a process. when you're hurting and you go through something oh, yeah. you need to help help you need people there for you we're, we're team players right yes. so right. we need each other but we also you know we need to have the time to heal and we don't want to go doing something out of our hurt because we'll hurt somebody else yeah too that's that. that's really good to bring that up Jennifer because we that's one thing we're not saying to you is that oh, well just get over it and step up to the yeah. plate and do what you're called right. to do because get sometimes there is a huge process some mm -hmm. of you have just lost your husband and you need just a time of refreshing and have been in ministry or you've lost a child or there's so many things you know and and a lot of times in those seasons fear comes in hopelessness comes in and you're like I just don't want to do this anymore but that's just the moment we know we shake it off but it's hard so we're not just saying oh well, just get it together you know yeah. get out of fear and get in obedience which would be great if we all could just do but like Jennifer said sometimes it's a process and yeah. seek the healing you know seek yeah. the healing for it mm -hmm. seek healing for mm -hmm. it that's that's mm -hmm. was a good key well you know I'm thinking of uh, an incident in the Bible where 
someone refused God and and the Bible says and he walked away very sad and I'm sure he was sad for the rest of his life yes. and who was that but the the rich young ruler in yes. Mark 10 17. Yes. It's the only one who wouldn't give it up Jesus said give it all up wouldn't follow me. Up. Yeah and you know the interesting thing is that's right the rich young ruler he told the Lord the Lord mm -hmm. first of all the Lord told him to give up everything sell everything you have and follow me well the only reason that Jesus said that was because obviously this rich young ruler, yeah. his God was his possession. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. he so Jesus had Jesus given it up. Was, now yeah. if he would have given it up, I bet you anything the Lord Jesus would have restored back to him oh, probably absolutely. double to absolutely. a thousand fold return. Yeah. Yes. But he just couldn't give it up and he and he refused God. And yes. so we don't want to we don't want to be like the rich yes, young ruler to told refuse Barry one Jesus. Day, you know, Barry, and yeah, and look ahead. at our lives now, yeah. really. How blessed we are because yeah. we obeyed. Yes. Was it worth <gasps> a year oh, or two or three it. of oh, fear? So worth <laughs> and it. and yeah. so I even worth got it. an ulcer when I got first put me. You know, I'm, I just shouldn't admit to that because I, I was you know trying to operate you. in faith, yeah. but God is so good that it he, was the process but, but he did heal me right that, away Lana. somebody, somebody needs, needs to, to hear, hear that because we're, we're, not human. Perfect we're not perfect and things happen and we we do struggle at times and so yes. people need to know we struggle there's yeah. struggles in our life where things don't just happen easily mm -hmm. all the time they yes. just don't <laughs> right yeah. so it's but, okay but we do have to step out in faith yes. and in courage faith. Mm -hmm. and the thing is it's kind of like what you were saying jennifer is who do we want to please right. do we you know i yeah, I'm at the point in my life where if I see someone that's crippled walking down the street, I'll walk up to him and pray for him. Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I because I only want to please God. That's right. Yes. And I know that's pleasing God. Yes. And if someone is offended or in some way by it, that's their problem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But at least you're doing mm -hmm. what you know God. What God has wants called you. us to yeah. do. Just like Mary just said. Just think if you just got up out of the wheelchair. How how. Wouldn't that be great? Mary, Mary said, be it done unto me, me as according. according to his word. Amen. That's you know, good. That yeah. is good. That is good. Step yeah. up to the plate. Mm -hmm. Step I've up got to a good scripture. On, good. On, Go for and, it. And that is Proverbs 1, 24, 26. Mm. And it says, because I've called you and you refuse to listen, wow. have st I've stretched out my hand and no one has heeded. Because you have ignored all my counsel and would have none of my reproof, <laughs> I also will laugh at your calamity. Mm -hmm. And I will mock when terror strikes you. So, you know, God's really saying, boy, you're pretty dumb if you're not going to obey me. Yeah. <laughs> really. And, you know, yeah. the, it's interesting because the Bible talks about two things mm -hmm. that really make a person happy. Mm -hmm. And one of them is obeying God. Obey. I mean, come on. He Obeys. only has the best for us. He loves us so much. Well, you're choosing the obeying. blessing. Yep. You're choosing the blessing. Because yes. yes. it says, choose a stay whom you That's will right. serve. You That's know, exactly be blessed right. or cursed. And you're choosing the blessing. Yes, when you're yeah. obeying. That's Even right. And if you, if you're <laughs> in obedience, it says you will eat the good of the land. That's you right. You will eat the, mm -hmm. o obedience comes with blessings. Mm -hmm. It's, it's obedience comes with blessings. Yeah. And if you'll go out and step out afraid, I mean, come mm -hmm. on, it's really, and you may look silly sometimes, you know, because when we first, all of us, you know, we've mm -hmm. done a lot of crazy things up here on the show, but you know what, we're human. But we're aren't, human. But weren't we our own worst critics? I mean, yes, you know, we like are. you were talking about that earlier, how um, how you spoke and, and how, you know, you thought it was so bad and then these women were thought delivered and like healed. And, and so fabulous. sometimes, you know, we're our own, we pick on ourselves mm -hmm. more than anybody else will pick on us. That's, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's what the enemy mm -hmm. does. He comes mm -hmm. to steal, kill, and destroy. He makes you feel yeah. lesser than. He makes you feel like you you can't compare to anybody else. And so then you don't do your part mm -hmm. and you don't step up you because back down. of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you back mm -hmm. down. You take steps backward instead of forward. But the moment you say, God, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and do what you've called me to do. I mean, he just, he just right. open those doors. <laughs> yeah. He just open them doors. Just don't beat yourself up and say, I should have. And where would I be, God, if I wasn't? And there was right. a, a great man of God uh, that said, you know, when he was all messed up and, and um, 
just didn't obey God said, God, where would I be today if, if, if I would have obeyed you? Where would oh, I have been today? I and God said, right where you are right now. That's mm. good. Because I restore everything. Amen. Whoa. That's good. I restore everything that came to work. And that's that's a huge, it was, that was, um, um, boo -boo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think of the name. I guess I'm, I, I usually don't ever say names just because, you know, I just can't cope with Oh. That's what I, yeah. Wow. And so, so the thing is, is it's true though. That's it's right. true. Mm -hmm. God will make that way where there seems to be no way. He'll start you right where, where like, like nothing ever happened because he forgets everything as far as the east is from the west. And we all know they don't even yeah. know where those two end or go That's or right. wherever. And so, I mean, he is so faithful. That's well, right. it reminds me of that scripture that, what is that scripture that goes something like, uh, whatever I have begun, I will finish yeah. that great you work in good, you. Yes. And that we must mm -hmm. realize that he is the good shepherd. Yes. And he wants to take care of every one of your needs. That's, yes. yeah. that's his that's job. Right. That's, that's his, his yeah. desire. I guess his desire, life. yeah. And, but most Father's of all, heart. if we could just remember, remember, think back of all the things that God has done for you in your life. Think back. That will that will yeah. really do it. And yeah. with that, it's a great thing to close the program with. Yeah. You know, uh, it's it's almost like every time we close. Well, not every time, but a lot of times I think of that wonderful Carol Brunetta who says, "It's time. <laughs> it's time we had together." <laughs> and it was so fast. You know, before we knew it, we just got started, and it's over. <laughs> Anyways, we got to bring you to Jesus. Yeah. You yeah. know, He loves you. He died nice. for you. He shed His blood for you. And um, you know what? You can receive Him right now. Just mm -hmm. say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of my sin. I want what these ladies have. I really do want uh, to hear from you. And I, I, I believe in my heart right now. I really do. And I get down on my knee or just say it, standing there, whatever you, wherever you are, yeah. in a prison cell. We've gotten your letters from prison and jail. And wherever you are, just say, Forgive me of my sins. I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God. That you died for me, you rose again, and you're coming back to get me. And the pieces are shambled. And please come in and pick them up and help me. And he will. Mm -hmm. If you called upon him, yes. you are saved. Right. And we will send you a Bible. Call 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. And we'll get that right out to all of you who have gotten saved. Remember, get baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire so you have the power to walk this walk out. If you need <clears throat> somebody to pray with you for that, call our prayer lines. But all you got to do is say, baptize me in the Holy Spirit and mm. fire, and he'll do it mm. with the evidence of speaking in tongues. It's Amen. goodbye for today. We love you. Mm. See you next week. <laughs> Many blessings. <laughs> Be blessed over and over again as the Holy Spirit ministers to your heart by ordering today's program on DVD or CD. DVD $9, CD $7. Both include shipping and handling. Order your copy today at www.godsviewtvshows.com. You must specify topic of 